Hi, I'm on the ES 2000 tick chart. I'm just going to go through what I saw today. I have a blank chart open. Um, it's 21 EMA, only indicator. Um, so the high of the day, I would, I would call it right about there. There's a gap. I would say the high is right there and the low is there. And so, you know, I would just draw it like... There, so that's the highs and lows for the night. And okay, so we start with this downtrend. Now, when it now when a downtrend gets a break, you can expect prices to make a new low or two two attempts at a new low. So we have downtrend break, first attempt at a new low, second attempt failure. Now. I wouldn't go long there because it's right into the EMA, it's right into the, these highs, but that, that's basically what happened. Downtrend break, two attempts at a new low failure, and it rocketed up pretty hard there. Um, and then we get a first entry long, second entry long, there's no setup, but second entry long, and this uptrend is starting to form, You can try, first you draw it like that two legs up and then you try to see about extending it but I really think it's just uh, two legs up and then a second entry and then it just gave one more push up before it reversed down through the EMA and so now you have these two legs down so first leg second leg copy that over and so we broke out the overnights so you can look for a fade, except you're in this downtrend right here, so you can't buy there, even though there's a good signal bar and it's broken out of the range. It worked, but it doesn't mean it's going to work every time. And so price finds resistance at the EMA, and so when it turns down at the EMA in a range, that just tells you that you're probably not going to get to the other side. It just pushed right back below the range, and then it tried to go above once, twice and it failed so breakout tried to fade back in EMA held price rushed back out attempted to fade once twice and it failed um I have this forming right here and so in this range it's really hard to find a trade you could look at this trade right here this uh, failed second entry long, so a new high, count resets, and we have a first entry long, second entry long, failure, and there's enough room for a scalp before you get to these lows, so that doesn't look too bad, but this is at 5 in the morning for me, um, I'm at central standard time, so if you're awake, then you could have taken that, but, so now, we have so even though we have these two legs down, you can also look at it as if as in these two legs down right here. So we have two legs down out of the range. They're almost measured. Let me measure them. So it's not quite measured. It goes about a point or so further, two points. But anyway, downturn played out, two legs down, and then we get a f new low, first entry short, second entry short, failure. So a failed second entry. Um, it's not a horrible trade. Um, you would just want room to get out before this resistance right here. And so you would have to use a limit order on this trade if you want to get a good, if you want to get good risk to reward. Um, I probably wouldn't take that trade though. Um, if we draw this uptrend, you see there's uptrend break. See, we're expecting a new high, and that is what it did. So, it's I think it's a pretty good entry. Um, but we do find resistance at the at the range lows, and so we we also have to be looking to extend our range as the day goes on. But we look over right for now, and then we get a first entry long, second entry long, and you get a horrible signal bar closing below the EMA. So 
That does not look like a very good trade to enter. And as you can see, it, you would have lost if you had taken it. And if we draw our short-term trend line, it's also blocked by the short-term trend line. Let me just turn off snap mode. All right. So now we have this downtrend, a break, and a new low. And so it, this one closed below the EMA, and it doesn't look that good because it's congested below EMA. And we just bounced off these this resistance, so we could head lower. But this downtrend had played out, and so you you are more likely to get a, another retest, especially because when you get a breakout pullback, it'll often retest it a couple times if it's going to retest and then go head, head lower. In this case, it didn't do that, though. But we have downtrend break new low basically two legs down and it's not horrible if you had entered but it's not that good of a trade but i'll mark it so now we have these now we have these two legs up it's bigger picture two legs up one leg up two legs up now we're at the range lows again so we can be looking for a fade back in um and then we start to get congestive. So we'll draw this. So based on these two highs and these two lows, we can draw this and then we can start to look for trades based on it. Here, not, so now that you're in a range, you can actually just play the range rules. And so here we get a breakout of the highs and you can expect it to fail. Most breakouts fail. Draw your STT, short term trend line close out of the short-term trend line. I think it's pretty good for a scalp. So I'll mark that because you do have two legs up and you know market moves in twos after you get two like you know how, like here second entry is where the moves go and this is just two big legs up right here. Even though it's not as clear that is still two moves up before it has a mini reversal right there. So that's a good place to go short if you have room to these lows. Um, then we have a two-legged correction down to the lows of the range. You can look for a buy, but I wouldn't want to enter all the way up in the middle, and because you wouldn't have enough, you would have bad risk to reward, because you'd have to put your stop all the way below this bar right here, and. Uh, and so you'd, ha you'd have to risk like three times more than you'd, you'd make. So I wouldn't take that trade. Maybe with a limit order, like a point back or point and a half back. Let me see how big these points are. So yeah, like a point and a half back probably would be good to take it. And then we have another two-legged correction or a two-legged move up to the highs of the range. And then it sells off and it breaks out of this range. At this point, I'd probably be looking to adjust my lows so like even at this point I think that this does this looks better and then it does react off later but let's we'll get to that in a little bit so now we broke out of this range we br break out pull back finds congestion there again and at this point, I would see these two lows, and I would probably want to extend this mini range as well. So I would put these down to there. Raise this up. And extend it. All right. And so now, this is the new range. And where there's resistance right here, it's about where the midline would be if I had it drawn. Um, now we have another two legs up to the highs of the range. You're looking for breakouts and ranges. And so most breakouts fail. We'll draw a short-term trend line. And if it's really steep like that, you don't have to draw it off the wick. You can draw it like that. So I think this looks all right right here. Because you have two legs up, breakout of the highs of the range. There's enough room for a one-to-one -one trade before you get down to the EMA. It's an all right signal bar. It, it kind of closed in the middle, but it's it looks bearish. It looks like it's in the lower third. So um, 
looks like an all right trade. And then you get first entry long, second entry long. Not a great setup because it's really congestive and you have this resistance forming. But after the failure forms, first entry long, second entry long failure, it does plummet to the other side of the range after you get this lower high. And let me draw this. This mini white knight. You have these highs and that, and you can kind of consider that a breakout pullback right there. They're a breakout pullback, but it's very congestive, and I, I wouldn't take any anything in there. So then we have another two legs down to the lows. We break out of the lows. Most breakouts fail, and we can draw this short-term trend line. Now I like the way this looks right here. We have a breakout of the range, most breakouts fail, a good signal bar, the, it's two legs down, and then this short term downturn is played out with a break and a new low. Since it's played out with a break and a new low, that gives you the green light to look for longs. And so, um, there you go. And then you get a first entry short, second entry short failure. So. The failure triggers all the way up here, and you wouldn't want to take it because it's really far from the EMA. Um, the the first entry and the second entry are really far away from each other as well. The first entry is in this congestion. The second one is in this massive breakout. So that's a not good trade. At this point with these highs, I would extend the range again up higher, probably to around there. For that ah. all right so now we have two legs up again first leg up break second leg up and then bounces right off the highs and then you get a lower high and then you then it plummets back down and with another two-legged move down to the lows. So second entry, there's this big bearish bar. You can consider taking it because it did bounce off the highs. But I, you see this trend is thin enough to where you might just consider this one move up and it closes in. So I would be cautious of taking this short. Um, I, would, I, I like this lower high even better. You do have room to uh, get about a one-to-one -one before you get to the EMA. So I think that this lower high looks pretty good. And of course, it scares you a little bit, but it never goes to where your stop would be. And that's why you have your stop above the signal bar, because it can go, it can, you know, there's noise and it'll chop around inside your bar. So then after we bounce up the highs, there's another two-legged correction down to the lows. And I'll draw it here. Downtrend, break, new low. Downtrend is played out. It's safe to look for longs. And so this range is holding really well. We had this breakout where it didn't hold, but it's held once, twice, and it's finding resistance there again. I think that trade looks pretty good. Let me draw the short term trend line. It closes out of the short term trend line. So this is the move to well, one sec. So this downtrend break, and then this is the move to the new low. Usually when I enter, I like the signal bar to close out of the move to the new low, which it does here. And you'd have to go into the EMA a little bit to get a one-to-one -one trade on it. Um, that's like a five-something point bar. And you could go for one-to-one. -one, you'd make it really fast. I remember live this, I didn't have time to get in because I had placed a limit order. I wanted to get in uh, one tick early, and it, it never came back. And so uh, I missed this raid. Um, but yeah, that's a good trade right there. And so then you get a two-legged correction, and then it, it doesn't reach the highs of the range. And that means your range has a bearish imbalance. And so 
you should stop looking to buy after it corrects without reaching the other highs because that means that there's more bears than bulls in the market so we break out again and now you can look at it as a bigger picture two-legged correction see one leg two legs it bounces off the lows of the day and so draw this downtrend I liked this trade right here so you have two legs down off the lows of the of the day perfect signal bar there's enough room to get a full scalp before the EMA full one-to-one -one scalp for the EMA so I really like this trade right here and then you get a first entry short second entry short failure but you it closes below the EMA and it rejects it three times before you enter so um so I wouldn't take anything right here but it's not too bad if you did take that because it's a failure a failed second entry short but I would be I would still be wary of buying just because of the Im imbalance but since it's off the lows I think it's all right right there so then we get a breakout pullback of this range breakout pullback finds resistance and then it sells off right there and so here you get a first entry long second it I'm gonna draw this congestion and then here it sells off you get a f first entry long second entry long but it's far away from the EMA so you've got to skip it and then on a bigger picture you can think of it as first entry long second entry long using more of the bodies than the wicks first entry long second entry long off the EMA room to the lows except you have a way too big bar so you're not going to be able to get a good entry um, you'd have to use a limit order and you wouldn't get filled far back on that so I would skip that so now you can draw something like that at this point that's right I ended up drawing a bigger downtrend at this point what was it like that I'm gonna remove some of these older trend lines really fast alright so now we're in this channel at this point this is all we'd see over this channel I think it looks pretty good it confirms it right here third bounce one bounce off the lows though but all you need is three bounces off the highs to confirm it We start to go lower, and we can draw our short-term downtrend. Short-term downtrend gets a break and a new low. We bounce off here, off these lows of the bigger downtrend. And so now we can expect the price to get to the highs of this channel, and then the EMA holds it down. If you get a good setup before it reaches the highs, um, you can take it if it's off the EMA, and the EMA holds really well. But um, there's no good setup here and then we get an overshoot and when you get an overshoot you can expect the channel to break and so usually when I get an overshoot like that I like to avoid the next bounce off these off of the highs of the channel and there's no setup anyway but it ends up holding which means that you can now the trend is basically reconfirmed even though there's the overshoot and so we go down we bounce off these lows again and then we get first entry short we basically get a reset because that's a double bottom but technically it's a first entry short second entry short off the EMA I don't really like where it is and you wouldn't be able to get a, a full scalp you would get a couple points maybe but you wouldn't be able to get a one-to-one -one scalp so I wouldn't want to take that um, it kind of just goes into a mini range right here and so let's see and so at this point you can look to find shorts off these highs and here you get first entry short second entry short no good setup you'd have to skip it there but here you get a 
a fifth bounce, so one, two, three, four, five, fifth bounce off the key entry point, and it's off the highs of this range, and it's a breakout, and most breakouts fail. And so, and it closes out of this trend line. Now, this trend did not play out, but you're also in this bigger downtrend, which means the bigger downtrend is probably going to win out between this micro uptrend. So I would say that this is a good trade. It's been chopping through the EMA, so it's probably okay to go into the EMA. And since it's off the cantry point, I might even go one to two on this trade. So I would probably look to get out around the lows of the range. So now we're at around 10.30. So then downtrend, break. When a downtrend gets a break, expect it to make a new low. It gets one attempt, two attempts, failure. And so, on a smaller picture, downtrend, you get a break, first entry long, second entry long, but it's not off the EMA, it's not off the key entry point. You're in a downtrend expecting it to make a new low. So I wouldn't take that, especially just the location. It's a lot better right there because you have the second entry. It's still a second entry, even though it ticks higher there. It's technically a third entry. But when you have two legs down with the body, that's still a second entry. Off the EMA, good signal bar. It wouldn't be terrible to risk that. I didn't take it. Um, and also, you have uptrend break, expecting a new high. But of course, you're also expecting a new low for this downtrend. So it's not terrible if you take this. But just be wary because of that downtrend. And so then it makes a new high and then immediately attempts to make a new low for the downtrend. Rushes below the EMA, get a lower high. I, I think this is a good trade right here. Uptrend is played out, downtrend is still in play, then you get a lower high. So that looks all right to me. Now we're at around 11. So we can draw this short-term uptrend. One second, y'all. All right. Uptrend, break, new high. This uptrend is played out. And now we have these two legs up. See? First leg up, second leg up. And... It got really choppy around here. There's nothing in here. This is just a no trade zone. Just going. It's not like a clear range like this. It's just chopping up and down. Um, and then we're at 11:30, and then that's usually when I would stop trading around 11:30 and start studying. So I'm probably gonna wrap this chart lesson up. Um, some good trades today. It's a nice day. Um, hope y'all had a good trading day. Um, thanks for watching.